Hey YouTube, uh, it's Alex again, giving you some more uh, sort of drumming tips and lessons for you know people of all standards. Um, today I'm going to look at uh, like a sort of classic sort of blues beat. Someone left a comment uh, on my page and was just asking to sort of do some basic blues. So the sort of guy I am, here I am now doing it for you. So unlike some of the other sort of beginner ones. Um, we're going to be looking at a slightly different sort of time. So instead of counting in fours, eighths and sixteenths, we're going to look at sort of threes and sixes, that sort of time. So it's got like a weird feel. People like refer to this as compound times. So it's got its own certain feel to it, so you're dealing with sort of a triplety sort of thing. Um, I won't go into too much detail, because this is kind of a video for you know anyone to have a look at. Um, but I hope I can explain it well enough. Uh, and if you want to get involved, just leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll help you out as much as I can. All right, so here we go. Right, so no flashy stuff on this one. It's just gonna be your right hand, if you're right-handed, left hand if you're left-handed, uh, on the hi-hat, and you've been counting to six. And you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. etc. Et et okay, now the important part is now where we place the bass drums and the snare drums. The first bit, I'm gonna put the bass drum on beat number one. Okay, so that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to put a snare drum on number four, giving us one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I think it sounds quite cool if you put a bass drum on number six as well. Don't do it every time, um, but it just it will just give you, you know, you'll hear the blues coming out of it, sort of like picture yourself and sort of laid back blues down, playing the drums. So here we go. around with the right hand a little bit and we're just going to put in like an extra note on the hi-hat so we're going to get this sound with it. So let's try and add, uh, let's put a bass drum, let's try and somehow find a way of chucking an extra bass drum or an extra snare drum. Now if you're starting off, the best thing to do is just match everything up to what your right hand or your high hat's doing. Okay, so let's put a bass drum on number one, number three, so it'll be just before the snare drum, and see what that sounds like. So we get one, two, three, Six, we get this. So far, put together. 
and then I'll just show you what it would sound like if we just mix it up. And then every now and again I'll put in that little one, two, and three, four, five, six. Okay, so you can start working out some sort of early variations, and then just muck around and put the beats where you want. You know, the bass drums on whatever numbers. You can always just write down six notes, six hi hat notes, um, and then just put random bass drums and snare drums on top. And if you play it in time with your right hand, it's always going to sound all right because you're never going to be out of time. Okay, so let's just look at the ones we've learned so far, and then I'll just mix it up and. See what it sounds like. Okay, here we go. Just have it full, uh, if you do it always on a note that's going to land at the same time as a bass drum, so you get this. Then all you've got to do is, as you say you come into playing at beat number one, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and as you hit number six, your bass drum is getting ready to fall down on number one. Okay, so you're going to naturally bring your foot back, ready to whack it down again. Now, if you do the same thing with your left foot, so both your feet are going to come up on number six and then come back down number one, it's going to sound like this. Okay, I'll exaggerate it by lifting my legs up at the same time. So we go, one, two, three, five, up, down, two, three, five, both. Okay, so as I hit number six, I've gone one, two, three, five, on number six, I'm going to make contact with the hi-hat, and that's going to trigger both of my feet to come up like this. And then I'm going to drop both my feet down as I make as I make contact with the hi-hat back on beat number one. So let's do it ultra slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? So it's alright, I'll round it up in front of the camera. So Hopefully that'll be a nice little introduction. So you've got the little um, one, two, and three, four, five, six with your right hand. You can put the bass drums on pretty much every note, um, and the same with snare drums. But be you know, be exciting. Mix it up a little bit, then you can add that open hi hat in at the end. And I think from there you could pretty much sit behind you know most sort of bluesy bands and just comfortably you know just plug it away in the back with some sort of beats like that. But then as you get more uh, as you get more used to it, just to start chucking in a few fills. I'll look at a few more fills later on, but with those you want to sort of like stick to your more because it's got that sort of swung with them. You're not going to be playing so straight. It's going to have that sort of nice triplet flow, okay, which sort of rolls around the kit rather than being quite so you know robotic. I suppose would be a good way of explaining it. Okay, so I hope that helps uh, anyone that's sort of looking to play any sort of bluesy stuff. Um, okay, my name's Alex. I've been doing this. So if you want to check out some other videos, I've got some more for some more advanced players. Um, I've got some intros to sort of drum and bass, some sort of like indie dancey beats, your sort of standard rock beats, um, some linear beats in there, and then a whole host of fills uh, and ideas and exercises. So check out some of the other videos. Um, if you like them, smack that like button, that's always good, I like that. Um, leave comments, I'll try and get back to you, send me a message and I'll do what I can. I'm going to try and set up a website uh, with like PDF files that you can download, which will relate to all the stuff I've done so far. Um, and subscribe, that would be brilliant. Alright, okay, cheers. Um, yeah, until next time, keep practicing.